Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, this is gonna be for Libra. And normally I would clean the board and right now it just kind of pulled me to just not clean the board like that, okay? So I'm not saying there's like a mess. Um, if anything, you might be dealing with an Aquarius, but something just pulled me to Scorpio too, okay? So I don't know what that was about. But this is for my Libras, my librarians. For June, week three, 2021. Okay, so I don't know if you're gonna get duplicate story cards. They want you to see me shuffle back. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I don't know what that's all about. Normally, I, I don't like doing that at all. But uh, but I did. Sheldon has a really odd stance right now. Okay. Um, Libra. Actually, the Seven of Wands hasn't come at all at all this week, to be quite honest with you. So I don't know what that's about. Libra. Week 3, June 2021. I got the goosebumps. Well, because my intuition is telling me I'm right, because it hasn't, but I don't know if it's gonna. You might want to take a stance. Nine of Cups, Empress, and she was reversed, so she is pissed off. She is not happy about something. Ten of Pence, the world, the other something is over. The wheel, holy shit and balls. Three of Cups, reversed. You have somebody who's not nurturing something at all. The Empress, reversed, is... Somebody that's not having it, not nurturing something. She is not happy. Three of Cups reverse. I don't know if too many people in the picture. Like something's over. It's a finale. And she's looking at somebody else. Somebody does not want to see somebody else move on. That is a clear message here. She might be all about money sitting next to the Ten of Pence too. Three of Cups, three people on the wheel. Something's didn't go in her direction. I want to say there was a third party scenario in Aquarius, so maybe that's why you're linked. You might want to go watch. Um, and this energy is watching that energy, okay, and is not happy. I don't know why I can't get this to focus. So you, you might want to take a stance with this energy, especially if you're dealing with this Empress type energy that's pissed off because it's over. But also, on another note, congratulations, because the wheel is about to go in your favor regarding something. You have a, a feminine here that is pissed off that somebody else is going in a new direction and that is happy. Because this is a wrap. The world, the ten of pence, and then the wheel, something going in somebody else's favor. Um, Aquarius, what was it? Yeah, friends with benefits led to love. So there was interference here. Clearly meant to be faded interference because the wheel is here. So whoever stepped into something, it was faded. It was meant to be. It was meant to go down that way. Whatever you went through, you had to go through. Like, there's no way around it. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody sees this energy. It's like... They see it from a distance, or they, they see it, they try to hold it up, they try to pause it, they, they try to stop it, they, you know, they was, it, wasn't, it wasn't good. And the Ace of Swords is reversed, so it's like they lied about a lot of stuff, too, to keep somebody in a situation. Empress, Six of Cups, and it's reversed. They wanted their past back, but, so... And the past is coming back. You're definitely going to want to watch Aquarius. But it's it's a mess. Remember in the beginning, I was like, I normally wouldn't say that. Like, it's a mess. Like, it's a mess. She's not happy. She's watching somebody else move forward. So, watching somebody else be happy. She's Energy here is not happy. It's so clear. Feel, see, yeah, four of wands reversed with a ton of pence. That's family life. That's money. There's no stability. It's, it's done. It's a wrap. It's over. With the world here, you have the King of Cups, so you have a masculine that's in their emotions, really upset about a situation. 
um, which is tough, out of control, not grounded, which is makes sense, right? You're in a difficult situation right now. And then you have the Knight of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. So again, upset the way something went down, how they treated somebody, how everybody, everybody got affected in this situation. Yeah, Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups reversed. So you have the, the Page, the Knight, and the King of Cups all reversed in the bottom row when it comes to the world, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. This is somebody that's all up in their emotions. They're upset. They're crying. They'd probably never let you know that. Um, feeling hopeless, sad. like it, it, And it's like you just got this. But has happiness right here. So they must have lost the friends with benefits situation. But now it's like they're happy they're because I got sidetracked there with the past story they're they're happier now like something's over this the past they were upset emotionally discontent unsatisfied and now the wheel's about to turn in their favor so they must have did a massive they, a massive move I'm actually gonna read I'm gonna get an animal spirit card for the masculine and the feminine here and not the karmic because this is somebody who was chasing money, somebody that purposely held somebody up. I don't like that type of energy. I don't, you know, it was, there was like manipulation. There was shitty shit there, you know, so. And the Knight of Wands, yeah, reverse. It's like they're not even talking about it. Five of Cups reverse. She's upset. She's crying. She's actually using a little bit of emotional manipulation here. With the Eight of Cups, I want it back, I want this, I want that. How to, you know, it, it's, it's a shit show right now with her. Tell me about the karmic right here for the Libra. Because this, this was somebody who knew exactly what they were doing. Ten of Cups. Material needs might be met here. If it's about money. Page of Fire. So they're going to get some type of message regarding money. See, this is weird because emotional and material needs are met. Emotional needs are not being met. This is somebody who's not nurturing a situation. It's a 10. It's over. They're probably emotional right now. None of Earth reversed. Yeah, enjoying life's little luxuries. Hmm. So if somebody was money hungry, yeah. Yeah, possible outcome. It's just, it's release. It's the end of a phase or a situation. Time to move on. Damn. Somebody, it's like, it's over. They're going to get a message. They could be arguing over money, emotional, like, it's emotional discontentment, but... Her material needs are going to be met. That I, I hope in the court and in the higher law too, like like spiritual law, spiritual justice, not just in the court, because this is somebody that just was was money, stayed in the situation for money. It's like let it go. Let it go. Release it. Let it go. Gone. Move on. I, I don't. It's just I don't even like reading these karmic situations like that. It's like move on. And then you have this masculine that's that was right. Right now they're looking at something a little differently. Right. Was totally getting emotionally manipulated here. There, it was emotional discontentment, sad. So they obviously had more love than the other one. And uh. They, they realized that they put things on hold, that the, the way they hung things up, like the way, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they try to buy time with you, you know what I mean? Whoever this other person is. And they're seeing that they were being lied to, they're seeing where their happiness is, their, you know, money probably came first. You were probably dealing with somebody who chose love, money over love. But, you know, it's, it's over, no more discontentment.
It's the wheels going to turn in their favor. Happiness is around the corner for this energy. Bless you. So the, again, there's a, there's a stance here. It pulled me back to Sheldon. So for the masculine, the Libra masculine, okay, we all have it in our chart, whatever planet, my lion, this one's for you, for the masculine Libra. And then for the feminine Libra, that's somewhere in here, or this masculine is going in this direction, because I'm not reading the karmic, so it's be the other feminine, and a bat. And then you have <clears throat> the masculine coming in as a buffalo. It's, try to remember your dream, dreams. It's a big message for you. I dreamt of a bat the other night. No, actually, I didn't dream of a bat. I closed my eyes, and I've been meaning to Google this. So I want to look into it myself on a, on a spiritual level for me. But the women are coming in as a, a bat here. So apparently this is probably a message here for me, too, not I'm like calling myself out in a situation, right? Can't say I'm in this situation per, per se, but somehow with me as... Definitely fucking calling myself out with the bat here. Yeah. But I thought it was important to men mention the masculine's coming in as earth and the, the feminine's coming in as fire right now. I just thought it was important to mention because um, it was not last night. It was the night before. It was just like a shadow figure. I didn't know how to explain it. And I was like, oh, it's, it was a bat, so I wanted to look into it. And then last night I was laying in bed and I literally said to myself, I'm like, oh, yeah, the bat. And then in the car this morning on the way to the doctor's, I was reminded of the bat, and now I'm reminded of the bat again. So four times. So pay attention to anything you may be seeing, um, whether it's on the street, it's earth, it's, it's a sign, right? Like it, it could even be like a raccoon, a bear. Like we saw a video on a buffalo. Like, I don't know. There's, there's something telling me. It's something about the animal messages here for those who relate to that. Grounded yet heavily, practical yet spiritual. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, yet the heart and mind rise towards heaven. The buffalo sees a challenge, hardship, or any bump in the road as, as an opportunity to uplift for upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look at the road ahead, trusting every turn. May every experience with this yet be life-changing bliss perform you in the time that may allow you to this card <coughs> that... May we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift. When you're in balance, you're trusting. You're pure. You're present. Okay. When you're out of balance, you're restless. You're lacking gratitude to bring into balance. Pray. And then Bhakti, B-H-A-K-I-T, B-H-A-K-T-I. Sorry. I knew I had got that wrong the first time. B-H-A-K-T-I. Okay. Or just pray, talk to spirit. So it looks like the masculine are just kind of like, probably if anything, with all this emotional in the past, you know, um, that was definitely going down restless, lack of gratitude, didn't appreciate you or certain situations. Now it seems like they might be a little more unbalanced with, with being in the present because I do see them like, okay, this is really about me, my happiness, what's best for me. Obviously there was... There had to have been a third party scenario. There were, I mean, there was something here. It's clear as day. Friends with benefits, something. Whether this person's still in their life or not. Okay? That would be you, the bat. You know, because that energy tried to keep you from that energy. I can see it's clear as day. So the masculine does seem to be a little more um, present. All right. So women, bat. But, um, like, me personally, I actually want to, like, look up the spiritual meaning. You know what I mean? So darkness, letting go, death, leading to rebirth. Before emerging, the bat awaits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that's invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and other things to fade. The bat card shows up significantly when there's an ending of a chapter. The closing of the door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours or a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. 
when in balance, accepts, adapts, and adjusts, when out of balance, refuses to let go, and reminisces, to bring into balance, watch the sunrise. So, I don't even know how to place myself in that right now. So for you guys, okay, it could even be the feminine, like, let go, release. There's, there's better, there's more contentment out there for you. Don't worry about somebody coming back in. Don't worry about somebody making it right. You know, um... I don't see nothing here, though, that's telling me, like, accept, adapt, and adjust. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why I'm saying I don't feel like that would be you. That's definitely the karmic. And others of you, this is letting the past go. It's, it's rebirth. It's like Scorpio, Rise of the Phoenix. And I don't even know if you're in this situation anymore. But somebody was in this situation. I don't know where you're at now. Apparently you're moving on. And since you're not here, to me it's like I don't think you're refusing to let go. This is releasing. This is the end of a phase. This was somebody who was refusing to let go. So it's almost like I asked for that. Not I didn't want that. But it's almost like I feel like that's what I got. Yeah, I just got the goosebumps. That's exactly what I got. So I did get the karmic side of it. So, okay. So I guess I don't have a message for the other person that was in play here. But obviously Spirit wanted me to let me know that there's something going on in my life, like a rebirth transformation, which is true. You know, got a new job, things are looking up. Well, things weren't really looking down, per se, but, like, I can tell, like, a whole new energy, everything about me, you know? So I think that was just, like, an extra message, like, my life is transforming, like, a whole new path, which is, I am in my third pentacle, so I, I do follow my life path, too, so I already was aware of that, so... That's that's for that, though. So you're dealing with somebody who didn't want to accept, didn't want to adapt, didn't want to adjust, refused to let go. <laughs> you know, and I hate to laugh, but it's like, damn. They put some masculine through hell, unfortunately. But they're waking up now. They're seeing things clearly, so that's good. Now, when it comes to the other energy, I can clearly see that you were here, but you're not here anymore. So, again, it pulled me just to Sheldon. So, I guess your message would be continue to stand your grounds. And I got the goosebumps. So, if you're cross-watching, continue to keep your stance. Remember, it's only a week worth of energy, okay? because I don't even see you being in the picture here and if you're the other woman we have the six of fire victory good news is on its way so again still remain in your stance I'm telling you I got the goosebumps queen of earth make time for those around you sensible approaches to deal with the challenges in an understanding manner so like I said, it's only a week worth of energy. And, and if this energy even comes back or if you want it or don't want it, you moved on and you're cross-watching, I did that for you. You're good. Okay? Something's coming in with us. This person or something else that, that uplifts you. Okay? That's all I got for you. I love you guys. I'll see you on Patreon. Have a kick-ass week.